light on me Always living in the morning for I speak What's love gotta do with Baby, stop Hey lovelies, I'm back with another video I told you I was gonna come back with a video on what I consider a natural beat, which is not a lot of foundation. Well, no foundation period for me. Um, maybe just something to cover these bags. Maybe, we'll see. But that's what we're doing today. And I did style my own hair and I just put a picture of how it looked after I finished it just so y'all can see how I did it I mean just so y'all can see yeah how I did it but if you really want to see step by step of what I've done to this just leave me a comment and I can upload that video as well for you guys all right so let's get into this natural beat down all right so first I'm just shaping up my eyebrows my little thin eyebrows. Then I'm just going to uh, get my brown pencil and just shake them up some more. Just fill them in a little bit. Just to fill them in. And if y'all see me looking to the side because I'm looking at the mirror. Okay. So, I mean, I don't have anything really to talk about today, but, um, but this makeup, um, excuse me, um, and me with my eyebrows, I don't like them artificial eyebrows, what I call them where they are like squared I do not like them on me because of my face shape I guess I don't know but I just don't like them so I just rather just keep my little thin out eyebrows the way they are and just shape them up the best I can and I don't think they'll look too bad not to me Shake the other one up. And as you can see, I'm not really putting a lot. I'm not really filling them in a whole lot. Because I don't want that real, like, dark, dark eyebrow look. But just enough so that it looks kind of filled in. Then I'm just take my brow thingy majiggy and just like push them up and out push them up and out okay i think they look okay okay and then i'm gonna take Hmm, I'm trying to think what I can do without putting makeup on. But I am gonna have to put a little bit of of um concealer just to um cover these dark spots. Thanks this is it. And this is my Becca. The Becca kind that I'm using. Again, today, I guess y'all can see that. Okay. And I'll just dot it. I don't want a whole lot. We may use it just to shape my eyebrows up as well. Maybe. We'll see. Alright. Then I'm just taking my wet and wild. I'm just like packing it in here. Okay. 
I know some people do this stuff in like a certain order, but me, I don't because like I said, I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. So I don't see the point of doing all that. And see how they blend it kind of well. Then I'm gonna just take my um beauty blend and just blend it in some more. But I'm just tapping this in to my skin. Beauty blender, which is here. And don't come for me, you guys. My beauty blender. Yeah, I've been using it. Sorry, so what? I've been using the mess out of it. Yeah, I know I need a new one, and yeah, I know I need to clean it. And don't come for me. Okay. And already you can see <laughs> I can just go with that. I can just go with this under my eye and call it a day, sis. Yes. And I'm golden. Hey, hey, and I'm golden. Hey, hey, and I'm golden. Hey, hey. See? And you can't really tell the difference that I even put makeup on my eyes, just under my eyelids. But let me go a little further, just to give y'all something to see. I'ma um, do my um, try to shape my eyebrows up a little bit. I need a flat, flat brush. And Excuse me. This is my way better. I'm using this because it's a little stuffer than other one. And I'm going to just try and shake my eyebrow up some. Just a little bit. Because like I said, I want this to be an actual natural kind of vibe. Not really a whole beat down face. You feel me? Oh, do you feel me? And I'm just bringing it down just to kind of blend it in some. And if y'all like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Bing! Just to be notified as to when I may upload another video. Like I said before, I'm trying to be consistent with these videos. I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's kind of hard. 
What do you got? A child that's got so many activities going on and being a wife as well. So it's kind of hard to try to manage it all. I'm trying. A sister is trying, okay? Now I'm just doing the top part. Just shake that up a little bit. I'm not really perfect with makeup, but I'm learning how to get perfect with it. I know it's just, it's a learning curve. I try to learn how to do makeup. And I know you have to practice, practice, practice to get perfect, perfect, perfect. Which is what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I don't wear a whole lot of makeup, so. a whole lot of makeup so now just filling in a little bit more with a concealer kind of clip my eyebrow a little bit I don't know. 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 Jacked up arch either. Okay. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yes. That's better. That's better. That's better. And I'm just dabbing it in to kind of like blend it. Blend it on in. Alright. That's that one. Now we're going to move on to the other one. And the sun keep going in and out. If y'all see the different light to dark, it's because of the sun going in and out where I'm sitting at. Sometimes I wish I was a person that wore makeup a lot. I do. But I just can't get up every day and put on makeup like every single day. Who wants to wear makeup every single day? It seems like makeup will break your face out if you put it on every day. To me, especially if you got like good skin, like me. I'm just not for all that makeup. Because it got, you know, probably so many chemicals and stuff in it. I mean, I don't mind it doing special occasion, which is when I usually put on makeup. Is if I got a special occasion that, you know, me and hubby's going out to, or I got an event to go to, 
then I put on makeup, you know, a little bit of makeup, not really a whole lot. Cause it's summertime and it's too hot to be outside with makeup on your face, like all day. That means you got to go in and do retouching and all this cause you don't sweat it off half of your makeup. Mm -mm. I just ain't got time for that. I'd rather just wear my natural face. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I want to try some different makeup. Like, I might go to Sephora. Maybe the weekend, maybe. And I want to try, I'm going to try some of that um, Fenty. I'm going to try that. I mean, I've been hearing a lot about, you know, people trying it and say how good it is. So, I'm going to try it just to see how it'll look on my face. You know, because makeup don't work well for everybody. I mean, all types of makeup anyway don't go well for everybody. Don't work well for everybody, so. Just because it might work well for one person don't mean it'll work well for everybody else. So, yeah. Okay, then I'm just blending this out. Y'all, yeah, it's supposed to be in the 90s all freaking week, even the weekend, up in the upper 90s. You know it's going to be a hot outside. You know it's going to be hot outside. Too hot. Then I got something to do the weekend, and I don't know if it's going to take place outside or we're going to be inside. Well, shoot, it's cold. You got to be outside. Uh, mm -mm. I also still got time for that. I may be vaccinated and all that, but uh, mm -mm. I, I still don't. I still don't trust it. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't trust it. Her name. Uh, let's see how this one look. Lord, this light. It's just not like giving. But we gonna work with it, sis. We gonna work with it. But I think it looks okay. Mm -hmm. And I know we got, you know, all these YouTubes about people doing makeup. But, you know, you can learn from different people. Everybody do makeup different ways, you know, so... Just because one person is doing it don't mean you can't do it, like they always say. Yeah, just because one person is doing it. But you may do it a different way that'll help somebody else out. Which I think is, is good. So, all right, I think I'm done with my eyebrows. I think they look okay now. And I just brought it on down to my upper, my um, eyelids. Okay. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna take some of my
and I'm gonna try and set it a little bit. Hold on. Excuse me. I'm going to just use this blending brush. It's from my, a collection I'm working on. So, and I'm just going to just to dab it over my eyebrows and my eyelids and I'm going to here. Cause like I said, we're going natural today. Nothing dramatic, nothing too out there. And it's just a set. I know people are saying, why you don't do that last? Mm -hmm. What does it matter? What does it matter? What does it matter? Because I'm not doing all that today. I'm just not up for it, sis. I'm just not. Okay. So I'll just pack that in. Okay. Like I said, everybody has their own way of doing stuff, doing makeup. So, like I said, we learn from one another. All right, that's it for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit more concealer just to blend my face out so it don't look so too toned. We don't want to look right up here in Dr. Okay. okay? We don't want to look too faces. Just a little bit. We don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit. Because what? We trying to be next. We're trying to be natural. And I might need a little move because I don't think that coverage is going to do it. And I'm just blending this out with a flat brush right for now. Then, oh Lord. Dang, I'm about about to go get it. I gotta hurry up. Okay, I'm just gonna. If it cuts off, I'm gonna have to. Re I mean, re um. Hold on now. Let me get my charge. Let me get my charger for you, dear. Okay, got my charger.
And then it's all across my forehead. And I'm gonna just blend it out. Blue the beauty blender. Just trying to blend it out real well. And all it took was just a little bit. Okay. Alright. So now I'm going to take my Powder and just hold on. And I'm just taking my powder brush. Kind of like bringing my face back to life so it don't look so like I got makeup on because what we're not trying to look like we got on makeup right we're trying to look as natural as possible See, that's all coming together. That's all coming together. I'm using my I'm using the dark part from the contour palette to do my eyes 
to put on eyeshadow. Just blending that in yes. to make it a little smoother. As you can see, this is how it looks with the blender, with the contour on. Again, natural look, natural look. Right, we're just going to do the other eye. And I learned this trick from watching a YouTube video. Yep, they use this as an eyeshadow. And there we go. A natural beat. So now I'm gonna just do my eyeshadow. I mean, my, I said eyeshadow, my eyelashes, and we're almost done, sis, and this is what I call a natural bead, and I will put lashes on with it, but uh, you can wear lashes, or you can just, again, wear your natural natural that is the key here natural 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 Oh, and this mascara is just from the beauty supply store, the local beauty supply store, nothing special. I like it because it has like little, the little lash thing besides I'm using the thicker ones. So this works real good for my little short lashes. Lashes, my lashes, and the lighter ones. Thing about 
doing the bottoms. Makeup on it. So I'm gonna take this and just to clean it up. So that's good. Now we might take a little bit of blush. Just to give our cheeks just a little bit of rosiness to it. Okay. I'm not contouring or anything. No contour. Because again, we're going for what? A natural beat. Nothing too dramatic. Try something. I'm just darkening up certain areas just to make my face look a little nice, a little warm, just to give it some warmth to it. Okay, and yeah, just going to I don't know how to, I don't know nothing. 
but that's not what we're going for today. Now I'm going to do my lip, and that'll be done, you guys. Then mm -hmm. I will be done. First, let me spray my face before I put that on. Just a little mist. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I got what I needed. I was gonna do a new lip, but I don't have the right stuff for it. So <laughs> let me see. I'm gonna do a just a lip gloss one, which is something just using something out of the beauty supply store. Okay. And this look gloss is like thick. Okay. I'm gonna line it with my lip liner. See if I can find it. Yep. I give it that that brown kind of tint. Stabbing it up a little bit because it's too much on top. Okay. And that's it, you guys. Let me know what you think. Natural beat or no natural beat? Mm. This is a simple routine. Nothing too dramatic. Let me give y'all some light. So y'all can see how. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Just to see how it looks in the light. Mm -hmm. All right, lovelies. I was going to put the purple on. Maybe I'll do it. Let me see. Oh, this mirror. This phone. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Try it with the purple lip, purple lipstick. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna 
from Purple. This is was my go-to lipstick. It still kind of is that. I used to not. I used to not wear lipstick, not this color. No, I was wearing like a a brown or a nude or something. And this is it with the purple. I think I like the other one better. Mm -hmm. The purple's okay, but yeah, I like the other one better, especially with this red right hair. All right, lovelies. Well, that's it for this um, makeup natural beat routine for today. Um, yeah, but if y'all like what you see or what I've done, please leave me a comment below. And let me know what you think and I will definitely respond back to your comment or questions or anything you may have to ask me. So until next time, bye lovelies.